Hi, welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this video, let's see how to set up multiple headphones for a podcast session. This setup works equally for other scenarios requiring multiple microphones and individual headphone setup, like music band recording. Let's start with the signal boxes that we have inside this studio. Here is the signal box labeled S2. Here is the signal box labeled S1. And here is the third signal box labeled S3. At the moment, in this signal box S3, we have two XLR cables connected to ports 1 and 2. The cables are connected to the microphones. Here is the first microphone. And here is the second microphone. Here, at the device rack, you can see S3-1 and S3-2. The output from S3 port 1, the first mic, is connected with XLR cable to the input 1 here. And likewise, the second mic is connected to port 2 here. The inputs are leveled from 1 to 8 on the first input rack, and 9 to 16 on the second input rack. And both these devices are connected to the preamps 1 to 8 here, and 9 to 16 here. And both these preamps are then connected to the AVID HDIO interface here, which is then connected to Pro Tools. Make sure to turn on the preamp with this power switch here. For the mic ports 1 and 2 that we are using, first I'm going to see that the port here is selected. Then I turn on the 48 volt phantom power here since we are using condenser microphones. Additionally, we can also turn on low cut to filter unwanted low frequencies or noises. Then, I repeat these steps for the second condenser microphone. First, the 48 volt phantom power, and then low cut. And finally, I select the individual microphones, again by pressing select button here, and setting up the desired value for input gain level which of course can be properly set during the sound check before the recording session. Optionally, I'm using first input port of Avid HD Omni for talkback microphone. I could also use the third port of mic preamp device for this purpose, but I'm sticking with the HD Omni for now. The last device that we see here called Hearback Octohub is used for headphones monitoring using the Octo mixer inside the studio. We can send eight different mono signals with this device, hence Octo. At the moment we're using ADAT as the connection type. And we're using Ethernet cables in this device to connect to the signal boxes S2, S3, and S1 which we are currently using for the connection. The Ethernet cable from this signal box, S1, is, at the moment, connected to this Octo mixer. You can see the Ethernet connection signal here, and here is the input port for the headphones with TRS jack. This Octo mixer unit uses the knob 2 to control the monitor level for a second mic, and knob 1 for the first mic, which is over there. The second Ethernet cable from the signal box is connected to the second Octo mixer here. Since one Octo mixer only supports one headphones out, we need to connect a separate device for each person in the studio. When this central button is pressed, it will link the mono channels 1 and 2 and send a stereo signal to the headphones. It will do the same for 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and so on. With everything working in order, this is how it looks in the devices rack during the recording session. Now let's see how the Pro Tools setup I.O. is configured. Here, the stereo inputs A1 and 2 till A7 and 8 are connected to HD Omni interface, this device shown here. And B1 and 2 till B15 and 16 are connected to HDIO interface, this device shown here. In the output tab, we can see 
that we have a stereo monitor and the output ports named Octo 1 and 2 till 7 and 8 are connected to HDIO interface. From there, the signal is sent to this Hearback Octo Hub, which uses Ethernet cable connection to send signal to the Octo mixer inside the studio, where people can control volume levels for each microphone that uses track send from within Pro Tools. For example, here I'm sending Octo 1 to the podcast guest and Octo 2 to the podcast host. The send is using the bus Octo 1 and 2. Here is Octo 1 in the track send and here is Octo 2 in its own track send. And I'm using Octo 1 and 2 stereo send here so that the mono signal from talkback microphone is sent to both Octo 1 and 2 equally. Let's say that there are four people speaking inside the studio instead of two. In this case, I would select the two tracks here and then duplicate them. And I would then set additional unique microphone inputs for each of the tracks, like so. And in the mic preamp, it would now be the channels three and four. Now we have mic 1, mic 2, mic 3, and mic 4. To send each new microphone to separate octo mixers, I would add octo 3 and octo 4 for these newly added tracks. As you can see, I'm using prefade with track send. This allows the people inside the studio to control the headphone levels without being affected by any changes I make to the audio tracks like control room monitoring levels. And now, all of the four different microphones have their own individual knobs to set the desired volume level. So finally, this is how we set up multiple headphones monitoring inside studio here at BFM. I would like to thank BFM, Tallinn University, for providing such an amazing space to experiment, learn, and grow regarding every kinds of audiovisual media from production to post-production. And I'm proud to be a part of this film school. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in next one.